Miriam, our CEO. Yeah, thank you. We have uh, Miriam, our CEO, and Samar, our marketing assistant, joining us today. If you have any, any questions, feel free to ask them. Uh, or if you don't want to you know, open up your mic, you can post it on the chat. That's OK, too. So uh, welcome, Mike. Here I can see Mike, Julian, Lucho, and Nadine. Welcome, guys. I think uh, we're going to give some time to, you know, for some people to join. I think it's uh, it's good if we start at 12.05 or maybe right away, but I think two minutes. We, to... we kind of start right away. This is going to be recorded anyway, so it's, it's gonna, all good. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be recorded anyway, and I can see already more people, yeah, entering the room. So I think... We're gonna start right away. If you miss something, you can you know, always ask through the chat or you can op open up your mic. So let's get this started. So welcome everyone. Uh, this is a LATAM Startups Info Session, the June uh, edition, uh, where we'll talk about all things, uh, our programs, our events, our community, uh, job postings and, and other things involving uh, the LATAM startups world. So what we always do in this um, in these info sessions is that we we give a little tour of our of our website, which is you know very very complete and has all the information. I know sometimes it's it's difficult for for people to browse through it uh, and maybe understand what it what it's all about. But today I'm gonna I'm gonna be sharing some of the the most important things in uh, in our website, uh, starting with our programs. Wait a minute here. Uh, I can't see this link here. Wait a second. Oh, there you go. I can't change this here. <laughs> now I can see uh, our programs. So our, our most important uh, programs here are the, the Startup Visa Path, which uh, gives uh, the founders and people applying the, the opportunity to have the permanent residence in Canada. So there's a lot of requirements that, um, that have to do with this, uh, with this path. Uh, and it's a path, so it, it consists on, on three phases. So phase one is the, is the market validation where it's, is the most basic part. It's only one month, and it could be done online. So in this in this part, uh, we we show the companies uh, if their market uh, strategy is is valid for for Canada. So what this program offers is uh, you know uh, competitors landscape in North America, customized market research, business expert advice, among other stuff. So the criteria, this is the very important part. So we, we only work, work with uh, tech startups. So there have to be some kind of a software platform or something related with, uh, with technology, automation, AI, uh, and whatnot. And of course they have to have a, an IP strategy, at least uh, if they don't have one incorporated in their home countries, they should have a strategy to incorporate here in Canada because it's a requirement of the, of the Canadian government into the startup visa path. And they have to be financially stable. So they have to have at least the funds to, to work for a year in Canada without having revenue. Because when you start here, you don't have any clients, nobody knows you, even though you have a, you know, this great traction and you know, millions of dollars sometimes in sales in your, in your home countries, there's, a, there's the need to start from zero in Canada. So you need the means to, to achieve that. And of course, if you're thinking about the startup visa, you're willing to relocate to Canada. So at least uh, one of the founders, it doesn't have to be all of the co-founders, maybe even one that can have the, the, the residence here. If you don't want to, uh, to immigrate to Canada, we have other programs. I'm gonna approach uh, them uh, later, but that's basically the, the first part of the program. It's only one month and it has a cost of uh, $2,500 US. 
for up to five co-founders. So as I told you, it's gonna be online and for only a month. And then we have phase two, which is the market entry phase, which is uh, very similar. It also has, uh, it, has it, deeps, it digs deeper into the, the nature of the business. So it has some uh, focus groups, uh, some, um, uh, it involves uh, improving the sales pitch because uh, here in Canada, it's all about, you know, selling your product and selling it to not only to customers and clients, but also to, to investors because most of businesses, they need to, to raise funds in order to, to function properly here, here in Canada. They get more uh, IP advice and they also have the, the co-working space here in, in downtown Toronto. So this phase two could be, could be done perfectly from, from Canada because if you're, if you're thinking about relocating, uh, one of the steps would be coming uh, to live in, in, in Canada. So the criteria is the same. Of course, uh, you have to be, you have to go through phase one uh, because a question that we receive a lot is that, do you guys accept companies from, I don't know, phase two or phase three? And uh, the answer, uh, it's very easy, it's no. We, we start from phase one and you have to go through the whole uh, uh, process. Because even though, as I told you, you have a lot of traction and sales in your, in your home country, you still need this validation on the Canadian uh, market. So you have to start from phase one. And this uh, program is, is, for, is for two months. And then after this, you we we go to into phase three, which which is the last stage, the the acceleration, and where you you get the the letter of support, which is you know in this letter of support that we provide to the uh, companies that go successfully through these two phases, is for them for these startups to present to the uh, in the application of the of the startup visa. So what we do is we provide this letter of support. As the name says, it's a letter of support. We don't um, uh, guarantee the residents, but in our uh, experience, we've had a uh, hundred percent of success rate. If I'm not wrong, Miriam, for every letter of support that we've that's presented. right. Yeah. So uh, just to wait a little bit more, guys, on this program. Uh, the start of uh, Visa Path is one of the most popular programs that we have. Uh, so um, yeah, um, um, uh, JP, you can show a little bit of the phase one, right? Uh, can you just uh, go a little bit up? Uh, there you go. So um, for who is asking here, I think it's Lucho uh, that is asking for uh, you know the, um, uh, the, the phase one. If you go to the website, uh, this information is going to be under programs and start a visa path. And uh, what I have to say about this also, you know, this is a good, uh, you know, good thing for uh, our international startups is that you can start this program or kind of start getting involved with our community without to per se applying for the startup visa path. Uh, you will see that in that website, in the um, upper level of the website, you will see there is uh, some business live sessions that will help you uh, to clarify some of the points, uh, you know, for your company, for, for example, in regards of, um, you know, how to sell in North America, you know, how to incorporate, how to immigrate, uh, all those kind of things are li business live sessions that we have at not cost for our startups. So the phase one, as um, you know, JP mentioned, is just one month, uh, is for us to basically validate your assumptions about the market, make sure that you have enough funding, make sure that you have the right uh, you know, path to continue to the start of visa, because start of visa uh, for more than is a, is a very popular program, is not a program that is easy to work. The government has a very specific um, you know, structure and recommendations for the companies that are coming a part of, of the Star Visa program. Nobody can guarantee you, nobody. And, and I want to just, uh, you know, be clear about that. Nobody can guarantee you a permanent residence through this program. The business is what guarantees that and the government is the one that gives the, uh, the visa. We just give the little support if the startup actually complies with the requirements 
for our, uh, you know, uh, program and accelerator program. So, um, you know, we have many startups from all around the world and very happy to, to see our community growing, uh, you know, not just from Latin America, but from outside of Latin America in this program. Uh, but I understand, you know, if people have a lot of questions about, you know, service a program or how it works, you please uh, just let us know and we are here to answer your questions. So many times we get the questions, you know, through our email and it's a little bit difficult to explain everything through email. So this is a great opportunity for you to ask questions. Uh, so JP can continue with the other programs, but I'm here yeah. to answer the questions through the chat or if you want to open your mic, please do. Yeah, thank you, Miriam. And it, also it's important to say about the, the phase one that it has uh, three cohorts throughout the year. So uh, our current cohort opened up uh, yesterday, actually on June, and the next one is gonna be in September. So we're accepting uh, companies on a, on a rolling basis. Uh, one, of the, one of the other, well, as Miriam said, this is our signature program, but another pro uh, program that's uh, very similar actually to the startup visa, is the corporate program. And the difference, there's a couple of difference uh, from the startup visa path is that you can apply, you know, whenever and we accept the companies uh, all year long. So there's no, no problem with that. And we also, it's also a little more uh, customized and tailor made to the specific needs of the, of the company. So in this, uh, in this program, we work with, uh, you know, different, uh, from mining companies uh, related with uh, automation and robotics to fintech company uh, uh, involved in FX currency exchange. So it's it's very you know uh, uh, wide the, the the sort of companies that we've had in the in this program, and it has obviously the same uh, perks of the of the startup visa path. So it has the sales pitch preparation, uh, also. Uh, you know, involvement with the intellectual property, uh, the co-working space that we provide here in, in downtown uh, Toronto. And the, the criteria is basically uh, the same as well. So it has to be a, a company headquartered outside of Canada and seeking to open a, an office or a headquarter here in, in, in Canada. Uh, most of these companies, of course, the founders are, are not looking to, to immigrate. But for them, it's good to have these headquarters located here in Canada because Toronto, especially, it's located very strategically. So it's very close to, to the States, to the East Coast, and also flying distance, like a very short flight from Europe. So it's also a very, you know, connected hub between uh, important uh, markets as well. So for this, it's it has the same fee. It, it's a monthly fee and it's, uh, it starts on a three month uh, uh, basis, but it can you know, be extended for, for six months or whatever the needs are from, from the company. So having said that, these are our two core programs, but right now we are um, accepting applications for, for a very exciting bootcamp that we are uh, hosting with a, um, uh, with the cities of Hamilton and Niagara. So here in uh, Toronto is located in Ontario, which is the biggest uh, province in, in Canada, the most important where the capital as well is and where Toronto is, which is the biggest city in Canada. And Ontario has uh, uh, several innovation hubs. So we have Hamilton, Niagara. We also have Kitchener, Waterloo. We have Kingston. So these are very uh, you know important hubs um, that are uh, innovating and helping in the research and development of, of the Canadian uh, innovation hubs. So for, um, I don't know, Miriam, if you can correct me, if it's second or third year that we are hosting this. Uh, this is the camp. third year and we third have year. so much fun for the Hamilton Niagara Bootcamp. I have to say, you know, this is a really good opportunity for companies that want to be, uh, you know, uh, that don't want to pay for a program right now and they're just exploring, uh, you know, North America and maybe Canada will be the uh, point of entry. In October, we have this bootcamp in person and it's not going to have any cost for the company. 
to uh, you know attend the bootcamp. Um, it has to be in person. It has to be a technology company. It has to be the right company. Uh, but you can apply to uh, you know to the program. Uh, we also have a kind of like um, a good uh, deal here is that in October there is a Toronto uh, a Global uh, Economic Forum. And we usually have free tickets for people that are attending the Toronto Economic Forum at the same time attending the Hamilton Niagara Bootcamp. So this is going to be a whole week. You can see the pictures from last year and you know the startups that are doing amazing. We actually had one startup that started in this bootcamp last year. Uh, he came from Brazil and right now is a part of the startup visa program. So he came to the process to do, you know, just an exploration, then enter to phase one, then, you know, uh, be a part of, uh, you know, phase two and then become a part of a startup visa program. And he's right now located in Hamilton. Uh, so for some of you that don't know about uh, this part of the region, you know, we are just one hour from Toronto. Uh, we offer transportation, local transportation. Um, so those that are visiting Canada, you know, you have to pay for flights and accommodation, but other than that, all the other costs uh, locally, you know, is covered uh, while it's in the event, uh, you know, we are covering for, uh, you know, what is coffee breaks and, and yeah. lunch, depending, you know, the day of the event. Uh, but other than that, you know, the, this, this particular program has no cost for startups. So if you have questions for that, I'm here in the chat also to answer those questions. Thank you, Miriam. And also, if you uh, if you have even more questions or want to know a little bit more about cities themselves, Hamilton and Niagara, we also provided a, a couple of weeks ago, a couple of days ago, actually, uh, an informative, also an info session about the cities of Hamilton and Niagara. So you can find it in our YouTube channel. Maybe somewhere if you can look look it up, you can post the link on on the, on the chat as well. So yeah, we're excited to have this bootcamp uh, once again for a, for a third year. Uh, and also what we are, uh, another program that we have that it's, uh, that, it, that it started as a pilot and now it's uh, becoming uh, an official program of, of Latin startups is the Newcomer Entrepreneur Accelerator Program, which is uh, supported by, by NRCI RAP. So this program is, uh, Again, basically has the same perks as the other programs, but the only difference is that we are helping new new uh, newcomers to to Canada. So permanent residents, new permanent residents, or or citizens that have been here for uh, ten years or or less. So as a newcomer, you still need all the help that you can get from you know from organizations like like ours. So we also help them into the with a sales pitch preparation we provide them with the with the C fractionals uh, marketing and event assistant which is you know very very valued by all these uh, the startups uh, and the criteria of course they have to be headquartered in Canada have fewer than 500 employees and at least half of the company has to be owned or co-owned by a newcomer like I told you a permanent resident new permanent resident or a Canadian citizen who has been here in Canada for for less than 10 years. And since this program is uh, supported by NRCA RAP, it only has a cost of five hundred dollars for for six months, which is you know basically uh, for free. Actually, it's not free because we, uh, when we started doing it uh, free, we didn't have uh, uh, much commitment from from the founders sometimes, and we are kind of like charging this uh, this small small amount for all the, the perks and the benefits from uh, our network of advisors, uh, business coaches, C fractionals, and all the programming that we, we provide to the other uh, programs as well. So the, the next cohort is gonna be starting on mid-September. So you're, uh, you can apply now right here in our website. And there's also gonna be a, a free webinar as, as this uh, info session. So we'll have a NIA program info, ses info session on, on June 21st, which is a uh, Wednesday too. And maybe Samar, you can you can also uh, post that link for that for that event that's happening in a in a couple more weeks, uh, for you to you know answer, uh, have all the your questions answered. We'll have uh, Meg Welter. She's our program coordinator for NIA program. She'll be answering all of the questions that that you may have. 
So we are also very excited to have this program going. Last cohort, we had uh, seven companies graduating and one of them actually is uh, Infinite Harvest Technology, which was uh, part of our Hamilton Niagara Bootcamp. So they, uh, by having participating in this cohort, they found out that uh, they also participated of the bootcamp. So if you are enrolling in one of our, our programs, you are also eligible to apply to the to the Hamilton Niagara Bootcamp if it's a fit for your business. For Infinite Harvest Technology, they are involved with uh, uh, with agritech. So Niagara, it's a huge place for agritech. You know, there's a, a lot of uh, uh, fruit and wine and wineries. So it's a great place if you have a, an agritech uh, business. It's a great place to to launch your business. So that's uh, for the for the NIA program, and also one of the programs that we have uh, currently is build up a scale up. So Latam Startups is an accelerator. So we only accept companies from at least they had to have an MVP. But we found out that the, there's a lot of people with a, a great ideas, but they don't know how to. Uh, how to start. So this program is dedicated to those people that they have a, a, an idea, uh, they have great tech ideas, so they can have the knowledge of how to start their businesses, how to scale them from, from zero, even from you know before zero, because you don't even have a product. So if you have an idea, this is the program for you. So we have special market lectures, peer-to-peer -peer sessions, customized support, industry mentor guidance and, and where and how uh, to find uh, funding. So uh, of, of course, this is also a program that already started in, in, in March, but there's a waiting list uh, for your next cohort. So, so this is the first year that we are conducting this uh, build up a scale up program. So it's, it's still running as a pilot, but you know, uh, we've been having a lot of great uh, uh, reactions from the people that have uh, enrolled all, already. So this is for, for our programs. I know it's a lot to take on, but I mean, again, if you have any any questions, please feel free to, to ask, them, ask them right now. Uh, and of course, Lab Time is all about community. It's all about events. And we have a very exciting uh, event coming on June 26th during the week of, of collision. For those of you who don't know, uh, Toronto hosts one of the biggest tech events in the world called uh, its Collision. So Collision is gonna be hosting some of the greatest startups and people from all over the world. 40,000 more people will be here in Toronto during that week. And on, on that Monday when Collision starts, Collision starts in the evening, in the morning, Latam Startup will be hosting the annual conference. So what we do every year is that we host uh, a conference where we showcase uh, some of the most emerging uh, technologies in emerging markets. Uh, this year will be all about Web3. So it's gonna be blockchain, crypto, NFTs, and the metaverse, AI. So it's all the trending technologies right now in 2023 are gonna be uh, present in this event. So as you can see, we're only 19 days away. So if you're in Toronto, uh, please come to our conference. There's a link here with uh, where you can buy tickets. For all of the people attending this, uh, this info session, uh, afterwards we'll be sending you an email with a, with a discount code. So don't worry, uh, we have you covered there. It's gonna be you know, in downtown Toronto in a very accessible from, you know, Subway uh, and the TTC in, in general. We already have the lineup uh, ready. So we'll have a, a member of the parliament as uh, opening remarks, Julie Sedowicz, and also uh, the master of ceremony will be Marta Pinson. She's a, she's a very, very renowned journalist uh, for the Latin community here in, in Toronto. And we'll have uh, several speakers from, from all over the world, not only Latin America, from, but from India, from Canada, from the UK, from the United States. So we're very excited to have them. We have a, a full program in the morning. We'll have a, a sales pitch competition, the award ceremony where we highlight our, 
uh, most uh, promising scale ups. So that's uh, very exciting to be showcasing that price. And after that, we'll have a, a cocktail party at the CN Tower. So for all of those attending this uh, this conference, the Beyond Latem conference, if you go to the conference, you'll have a a ticket for for the after party at the at the CN Tower, which is going to be a, also a pre collision uh, party. So for all of those wanting to go to the launch, the official launch of collision, they can go after the cocktail party. Uh, at the CN Tower. So that's uh, uh, happening in three more weeks. So uh, if you're here in Toronto during that week, you're more than welcome to, to go. We'll be giving you some some discounts in the... It's actually a free ticket. So I, so you can oh, take a... advantage, you know, but it's just uh, available for 24 hours. Yes. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so guys, I, I, I think we are covering basically all the stuff yeah. that, that we need here. Um, we also have job uh, positions available, uh, but at the moment, I, I think the only job position that we have is in UX design. You can always send yeah. us, you know, uh, a, your resumes. If you think like uh, in the future, there is something that you want to do with LATAM startups community, we are always happy to hear that. Um, so guys, we have a very active month uh, here in June, yeah. uh, you know, join Coalition, uh, join our, our conference and any other local events. We also have an event in Chile. Um, so, I mean, a yeah. lot of stuff uh, happening here and uh, JP is our community engagement coordinator. So please be in contact with JP. Um, not sure if anyone uh, else have any other questions. Um, you want to open your mic? I'm going to give a few, um, you know, one or two minutes here to see if somebody else has questions, but it's not, uh, you know, this recording is going to be available uh, for everyone in our YouTube channel. And you can, you know, check there. Uh, I know the Visa program, again, is one of the most popular ones uh, that we have. And, um, you know, maybe uh, people have more questions. You can always email us or let us know. Uh, thank you so much for coming to uh, our information session. Anything else you want yeah. to add, JP? No, uh, it all is uh, clear and has been said. And as Miriam said, please reach reach out to us on, on LinkedIn via via email. We're always happy to to answer all of your questions because I know it's a lot to take on and I'm I'm sure you, you may have some more questions that you may you know come up uh, at a later stage during the day. So we are we are happy to to answer them. So thank you very much for for coming. Uh, this session will be uh, highlighted on YouTube uh, briefly. So yeah, please, uh, if uh, someone of your friends maybe couldn't couldn't attend, please share share the link that will be you know uh, going on YouTube uh, later on on the day. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you, everyone. See you in the next one. Bye. Thanks. Bye bye. Take care.